I'm Jonathan Birman. This is an explanation of the agent's entities. Let's start. On the left, we have the backend already running and waiting for the agents. On the right, we have the flight gear. Now, the first line here gets the flight gear to open a server socket, which waits for flight orders from the agent on this port and the IP, of course, that are written in there. The second line gets the flight gear to open client socket, which sends 10 times a second the flight data to the agent. And the third line is just defines the call sign, which is eventually just the identifier of the plane. Now I'd like to start the agent, but before I do, I want to clarify a point. We have to start the agent before we start the flight gear. Now we are going to start the agent on debug mode. We would like to also start the flight gear. You can see we have successfully connected to the flight gear and got the call sign. And we are saving the get status function from the backend. We are telling it that we are flying until we, pre we write stop. And then we, we are starting to get the data from flight gear to a file. And from that file, we are sending it to the backend. And in the end, we close the flight gear. Okay, let's go through the code of the agent. First, we can see clearly that there is a dependency injection design pattern here. If we go into the constructor, we can see that it gets client handler. Okay, now all the, all the agent is implemented in MVC design pattern. So we can see that the model and the view are observables. And we can see all the notify observers. We can see also notify observers with debug messages. And the controller is observer. So it, it gets notified when something is changed. We can see here in the constructor that we define the observables. And in the update, if the view is active, pretty much if we're in debug mode, it prints the argument 